It's Black History Month, so for the next 28 days we'll be talking about Rosa Parks, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Booker T. Washington, maybe even Barack Obama. But the problem is, is that when we do that, then there's this dissociation between black history and American history for the month of February, where we think black history only belongs being talked about during February and not during the rest of the year, which is ridiculous. And people basically try to hold their breath to get through February, only to come up for air to say things like, why isn't there white history month? Or my minority group doesn't have a history month. Why do black people deserve one? And the reality is within black history and the ongoing struggle for civil rights and social justice, there are so many stories of uh, women and men of diverse backgrounds coming alongside, working with, for um, these heroes that we talk about in Black History Month and you know so many more that we never talk about in the month of February or any other month. <laughs> so some examples would be the Quakers um, involved with the Underground Railroad. Uh, Asian communities coming alongside Black Power with their own um, yellow peril. Or you have people like Bernie Sanders uh, working with sit-ins and protests against uh, discrimination in housing, we, you know, when he was in college in Chicago. And then you have people like James Swerg, who uh, worked with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And, you know, he would be like the first person to go off the bus um, to provide a white shield. And, you know, oftentimes he was beaten for it. He would, he would uh, get like movie tickets uh, for you know the black community and bring them into the theater spaces that they weren't really allowed um, otherwise. And so definitely look up these people because they were doing really amazing, amazing work. And we don't talk about um, them to shift the focus off these historically black figures who, you know, their struggles and their accomplishments and all of the amazing things that they did. But really, we just talk about it to make two main points. And that first main point is that black history is American history. And as such, that we all want to learn about it and be involved with it. And also that black history is so multicultural and so intersectional and there are people of all different backgrounds, sexual orientations involved in those stories throughout the beginning of time when we have um, slavery and all the way up through segregation and those civil rights actions to today. And so we want to take this time to encourage you to try and find yourselves in these stories because yeah. you're there. Mm -hmm. And the second point is uh, when we watch movies like The Help and Roots and Selma and uh, Hidden Figures, our temptation is, you know, if, if you're not black, is to point to um, the characters, you know, that, that good white person who like did that great thing and was supportive and be like, I would have been one of them. Um, and that's the temptation, but the fact is tomorrow's history books are written today. The struggle is continuing and are you a part of it now? Um, so whether it's with uh, protesting um, the Dakota Access Pipeline, a border wall, Muslim registry, um, you know, being a part of the Black Lives Matter movement um, and working against police brutality and the prison system, you know, you have to consider, are you going to be a part of those things now? And are you willing? What are you willing to do? And maybe what are you not willing to do? Yeah, and spending time thinking about that. Mm -hmm. But have you or someone you know been involved in an activist cause as an ally? Tell us about it in the comments below and we'll check that out. We'll also make sure to include some stuff in the description about those allies who we had talked about earlier in the video so that you can research them a little bit more on your own. And we're also doing another longer video where we're just gonna discuss more about intersectionality within allyship and, and just uh, more in depth. So definitely watch that video as well. Cool. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and do mm -hmm. share the videos among your networks mm -hmm. if you can, because it'd be really great to see the community grow. Mm -hmm. Well, to, to be, be very, very honest, honest, we hope to see you next time. See ya. Bye.